As the workday begins at the port of Tacoma, the engines start. Then comes the parade. Members of the International Longshore and Warehouse Union, Local 23, drive giant straddle carriers from their parking spots to the North Intermodal Yard, where they move containers that come and go by ship. Pretty much anything that touches containers that's uh, not electric is running mostly off of diesel. We burn hundreds of gallons of fuel a day. That's why this delivery of a new fuel product is so important. This petrocard tanker is delivering a renewable diesel called R99. I don't trust salesmen, but I do trust fleet managers. And I have multiple fleet managers just in this area that have told me that this stuff runs great. R99 is a drop-in fuel, which means it can run in any diesel engine. It can be dropped in and treated just like conventional diesel without any retrofits to equipment, without any capital investment. You just make the choice today and it goes in your tank and you're on your way to reducing your carbon footprint. Laura Yellig is president and CEO of Petrocard, one of the largest fuel distributors in the Northwest. R99 stands for 99% renewable. While it's made from the same materials as biodiesel, like used cooking oil and animal fats, the manufacturing process is different. I consider it kind of the more refined sibling of biodiesel. Renewable diesel is made in refineries to be chemically identical to petroleum diesel, allowing it to be easily blended at any percentage. You guys ready? This side-by-side -side demonstration shows how renewable diesel looks like water compared to traditional diesel. More importantly, it burns much cleaner. Depending on the, the fuel source, it can offer a 60 to 75 percent reduction in life cycle greenhouse gas emissions and about a 20 to 30 percent reduction in particulate matter. Thank you for your work on this. You know that we've been pushing for this. Last year, Port of Tacoma commissioners voted to reduce greenhouse gas emissions under the port's direct control to net zero by 2040, accelerating the target by a decade. We are making major investments in carbon reductions. The Port of Tacoma and the Northwest Seaport Alliance are adding electric vehicles and yard trucks, encouraging greener short-haul trucks and installing shore power at more container terminals. In June, a new report showed Puget Sound maritime-related greenhouse gas emissions down 10 percent between 2005 and 2021. So we are making the major investments today so that when we have this press conference in 10 years, you will see the results. While electric alternatives for big specialized equipment are developed, renewable diesel is a good fit. It's a great strategy to reduce emissions until the zero emission uh, strategies are feasible. This green alternative is the right now alternative. Equipment maintenance director Rick Atkinson says because R99 burns cleaner, exhaust filters don't get clogged, reducing maintenance costs. It makes the equipment run better. Incentives in the state's clean fuel standard mean that supply is up and the price is now in line with conventional diesel. That was kind of like the final selling point. Petrocard says so far one of Washington's five refineries is blending in renewable diesel, which is mostly brought in from other states by barge or train. Until it becomes widely available, fleet customers like the Port of Tacoma are getting a head start making the switch to greener diesel.